is up you guys film fan 0599 here again and today we're going to review Godzilla King of the Monsters so Godzilla King of the Monsters stars Kyle Chandler Vera Farmiga uh, Millie Bobby Brown Charles Dance and Ken Watanabe and what this film is basically about it's about you know it's been five years since the 2014 Godzilla and you know um now, what happens is, is these creatures are starting to get released, you know, and now the only one that can stop these creatures is, well, Godzilla. So, what did I think of Godzilla, King of the Monsters? Now, I was very much looking forward to this movie. I am a huge fan of the 2014 Godzilla film. I love that movie. That is one of the most underrated, like movies of this decade I feel like I feel like not not a lot enough people give that movie credit for how tense it is and just how amazing it really is honestly you know it's very ten intense that movie and I just love how they did you know the character of Godzilla in that film it was so great and I even loved Kong Skull Island a lot I thought that was great too honestly I know not a lot of people like that one either but I enjoyed that movie a lot too I had a blast with this film with that film so I was hoping I could you know um maybe have a fun time with this one too you know um I was really hoping you know I could because I did really enjoy the first two installments in this monster series so I was hoping this one would be another hit unfortunately it's not um Kong um uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters is very disappointing in my opinion I did not really enjoy this movie all that much it's not a bad film, it's just very mediocre to me. I just, I didn't really care about a lot that was going on in this film, to be honest. It just, it's just boring for the most part, honestly. I really didn't really care for a lot of the stuff that was happening in this film, to be honest. And it just, it sucks, because, you know, I really wanted to like this, especially with how good the trailers were. And, you know, just how great the marketing has been for this movie, it just just didn't deliver I want what I wanted to be honest but before you know we talk before we talk down about the movie let, let's get positive for a second let's talk about some of the things that I liked about the film with my positive so let's get right into those first so here are my positives with the film First being, I did think some of the acting and some of the characters were pretty good in this movie. Uh, Kyle Chandler is great in this film. I actually really enjoyed him in this movie. I thought he did a really fantastic job in the film. I actually really liked him a lot in this movie. He actually did a really great job and, you know, um, I did really care for his character in the movie, honestly. I did think they did a pretty good job with his character and I thought, you know, Kyle Chandler did a really great job with his performance. Ken Watanabe is once again great here, you know, um, I loved him in the first Godzilla film and I loved him in this one as well. I thought he did an absolutely fantastic job in this movie, you know. Um, I loved where they went with his character in this movie, to be honest. I thought they did an absolutely fantastic job with that. So, yeah, I thought Ken Watanabe was great. Sally Hawkins is great for like the few little screen time that she has. I did enjoy her in the film as well. So yeah, and, and some of the other actors are pretty good here too. There are some other actors slash characters that I did enjoy in the film. Um, some action sequences are cool. Some, um, there were a few that I did enjoy and I thought were pretty cool. Only a few though. Um, the visual effects are great. I really love the visual effects with this film. I thought they did an absolutely great job with the visuals here. You know, I thought Godzilla looked great. I thought a lot of the other monsters looked great, especially Martha. Man, that, that, like, when I saw that, when I saw her, man, I was like, dang. Like, you know, some of the visual effects are, re are really great with this movie. I do think the visual effects are really fantastic with this film. Um, sometimes the directing is pretty good. I will admit sometimes the directing, you know, with the film is pretty nice. There are some nice shots here and there in the film. And, you know, some nice, um, cinematography here in the film as well. So, yeah, sometimes the directing isn't too bad. Um, I was invested into this family storyline sometimes. Mostly it's due to child, uh, uh, um, Kyle Chandler's story. Uh, you know, due to, uh, Kyle Chandler's character mostly, I'll be honest. 
But, um, you know, there were some times where I was invested in that. And lastly, uh, you know, sometimes the pacing's pretty good. There are some times where I'm really invested into the movie. I'm really getting into it. So, yeah, those are really my positives with the film. So, yeah, now on to the things I really didn't like about this movie. So, on to the negatives. So my negatives with this film are first being uh, the rest of the acting is just whatever, I guess. I th everyone just feels like they're not really trying all that much. And some of the other characters are really not that interesting. Honestly, I could care less about Vera Farmiga in this film. And I love her as an actress. I think she's really great, but I could care less about her and her character in this movie because they're just not really good, honestly. I didn't really enjoy her in this film all that much. Uh, Millie Bobby Brown is okay, I guess. She just, I didn't really care about her character either, honestly. Like, I thought she was fine. Charles Dance, however, is the biggest waste in this movie. Like, Charles Dance is an amazing, amazing actor. And they literally waste him in this movie. He is, the literal reason he is only there is just so that we can have some sort of a mean human villain. And that's a about it, honestly. That is the only purpose he serves in this movie. Nothing else. And he feels like a gigantic waste in this movie. Like, I honestly did not think he did really that great of a job, to be honest. He just felt like he was just there, honestly, and not doing much. And that sucks, because, like I said, Charles Dance is such a great actor that they just waste him in this movie. And, and you know, the fact that they even waste, like, Vera Farmiga and Millie Bobby Brown like that, too. They're great actresses as well. And they just kind of just... This is what they do with them, honestly. Like, it's just... it's They're not that great in this movie, honestly. And some of the other actors slash characters are not that great either, honestly. Like, I really didn't think that they did um, that good of a job in this movie. The comedy. The movie tries to insert comedy into this movie. And, uh, like, look, I hate using this word, but there are moments where I'm literally cringing at just the comedy in this movie. Like, it's just, it's bad. Like, it is, it's probably, like, the worst thing about this movie. Maybe, honestly. Like, it's just, it's so bad. Like, generally, like, they try to insert comedy into this, and it just, it doesn't work. Like, it, it just, it feels so out of place, honestly. Like, you know, like, it just, it doesn't feel right, honestly. Like, it feels so out of place in this movie. I just don't think they do that great of a job with it. I do think a lot of the humor was not that good. I did not laugh that much at the humor. Like, maybe, like, once or twice I did. But for a good majority of it, I did not laugh, like, once at, like, the comedy they were trying to insert into this movie. Um, most of the action sequences are kind of bland. Honestly, like, most of the monster fights are really just kind of boring, honestly. Like, I should be excited as hell, right? Like, because of all these action sequences, this is what I want for the movie, right? I want the monsters to just, you know, um, mess each other up and, you know, just go at it. But it's just, it's boring, honestly. Like, I'm just, I'm not caring, honestly. And it doesn't help that they're not really that well filmed for the most part, honestly. So, really, the only time I felt any excitement towards the action scenes was literally, I think, like, the final battle and maybe one other action scene that was in the movie. But that was about it, really. Most of the monster battles in this movie are just kind of whatever, honestly. Like, I don't really enjoy them all that much, to be honest. And it's a shame because, like I said, this is what the main, um, you know, marketing focus of the movie was. This, the monster battles, and they're not even that good, to be honest. I did not really care about that fa this family storyline for the most part, to be honest. Like I said, there are some times I do care about because, you know, like I said, it's mainly due to how much I like Kyle Chandler's character in the film. But I just don't care about, a, like, a good majority of it because it's just... It's not that good, honestly. Like, because I could care less about the other two characters that are involved in it, honestly. Like, I just I don't really care all that much, honestly. I just felt they didn't really do that good of a job with it. Uh, the directing with this movie is just, it's, it's very just, like, bland, honestly. Like, what I loved about Godzilla and Kong Skull Island is that those two, two movies had a nice style to them. Both directors of those films brought an immense, um, great, uh, style to them. You know, Gareth, um, e uh, Gareth, uh, e Evans, Edwards, there's two Gareths. It's one of them. I like it's it's either Edwards or Evans. It's either one of them. But 
who you know one of the Ga uh, Gariffs. They did a great job with that with the directing in this film. I with that film, and I felt they brought such a great style to that movie. And you know, um, I thought that he did a great job with that. And and forgive me, I forgot the director who directed um, Kong Skull Island, but they did a great job of incorporating their style into the movie and really adding some color and some nice, you know, cinematography and, you know, nice shots and stuff like that. Here, I feel like this movie has no style to it. I feel like this movie just looks like another generic action film. Like I said, there are some points where there are some nice shots, some nice cinematography, but for the most part, I do think it's kind of just... Eh, like, it just looks like every other generic action movie to me, and that's what sucks, because like I said, these other two movies in the series had a great style to them, and then there's this one that just kind of has no style to it, and it's just not that great to look at, to be honest. I do think the directing is really not that all that great with this film. And lastly, this movie is very boring for the most part. I was not invested into this movie for the good majority of it, to be honest. There are some moments where I do get really invested into the film, but, um, but for the most part, I thought this movie really dragged on. Um, I really felt that it was just, it, it just wouldn't end. Like, it just it kept on going and going. I was just waiting for it to be over because I really wasn't interested into the movie all that much. And which, which sucks because, you know, I really wanted to be into this movie because of how much I was looking forward to it. And how much I love the other two. But for a good majority of this film, I just really wasn't into it. And it's, like I said, it's such a shame. But... I just really wasn't into it for all that good of the majority of this film, to be honest. So overall, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, is mediocre, honestly. I didn't really enjoy this movie all that much. I was really let down by it, honestly. I was really, really excited for this movie. This was like in my top five most anticipated of the whole year, my second most anticipated of the whole summer. I was really Really looking forward to this, and I was just let down immensely. I thought this was a very boring and mediocre film. I really did enjoy Godzilla, King of the Monsters. I think it's just okay. So it's time for my official grade on Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and my official grade on Godzilla, King of the Monsters is a C+. It's alright, like, honestly, like, it's just, it's not a bad movie, like I said, because there are some really good things here in this film. But there are some things that do tear it down for me from enjoying it. And I do wish this could have been a lot better than, you know... Because it, honestly, like, this movie could have been something really epic and grand. And it just was kind of just... Eh, honestly. So, yeah, Godzilla King of the Monsters is just alright. So, now I lead to a question to you, my followers. What did you think of Godzilla King of the Monsters? Please, leave it in the comment section below. And I'm FilmFan0599, and we will see you all later. Peace.